Should you try to speak with a perfect accent in other languages? Here are my thoughts. Every language has its own sounds. Some are very different, and some are more important than others. I've seen some polyglots try to strive for perfection in speaking other languages with a perfect accent, and I'm not sure how feasible this is for the average person. I, for example, can mimic other accents in English, and I've never learnt how to do this. It's something that I've always been able to do, and it's only something I can explain if I think about it. It's definitely something I can make a future video on.、Uh, I'm not sure how much of it ha is helped by the fact that I was born in England, because we have lots of accents here, so I'm exposed to a lot, lots of accents. But I know lots of people in England that can't do other accents, so I'm not sure how much. So I'm not sure how much this is a factor. Sometimes I try and teach people、uh, how to pronounce certain things in a British way, and I say a word, ask them to repeat. But it doesn't sound quite right when they say it, and I can't explain exactly why. Some accents are also more difficult than others. For example, most people tell me that American accents are easier than British accents, which seems true as well with actors. For example, most actors who are British can perform with a, an American accent, but it's very rare that it can go the other way around. So when I speak other languages, I try to. I don't strive for perfection. I try to speak well enough, but there are some important sounds that you probably should strive to get right, which are normally the vowel sounds, which I can give some examples of. So here I'll speak in Italian as if I'm speaking in English, and I won't change a thing of how I would pronounce things. Adesso parlo in italiano come in inglese. Non è facile perché non parlo così di solito. Okay, so the English O sound is either O or O, but it's not that way in Italian. So I can't pronounce this way, speaking in Italian, because it just sounds very unnatural. So the O sound in Italian is O, come Italiano. It's not Italiano, Italiano. So getting these sounds right are probably the most important things. I don't have to get every. Particular pronunciation right. As long as I get the vowel sounds right, it sounds good enough. Of course, it depends on your level what you should strive for. If you're a beginner, I never, I, I myself never think of pronunciation. Just I just try to be understood when I'm a beginner, when I'm just starting to speak.、And、it's only at the advanced level should you think about pronunciation. I think. Now there are actually some people that speak foreign languages, some British people that speak foreign languages this way, and I find it very embarrassing to watch this.、Uh, for example, there's a British reporter who I won't mention the name of, who lives in Russia, I think, and is in Germany sometimes. So he speaks German in Russian and he interviews people on the street, but he speaks the exact same way I spoke in Italian, as if he's speaking English and doesn't change any words. And I find it so embarrassing to watch these videos. Not because I speak perfectly myself. It's just he's not even trying to to pronounce in a different way. So he'll say something like, "Spasiba Balshoya, mnie ochin blagadarin," something like that. And it's like, <laughs> to me, that just again, like the vowel sounds are most important. So say ochin. It wouldn't say ochin. You got to get the o sound right. The o sound is o. Ochin, not ochin, or nichiwo, not nichiwo. Again, so the vowel sounds are the most important. So I would show examples of other languages. It's just I'm not advanced enough, and I don't think about pronunciation in those other languages. But here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best to sound like a native speaker, and I'm going to pick two texts, one in Italian, one in Russian, and try my best to sound like a native speaker. It probably won't be perfect, but I'll try my best. Il trenta luglio si prepara a partire la nuova missione della NASA verso Marte, e mentre sono in viaggio, le sonde di Emirati Arabi e Cina, una ricerca indica che nel sottosuolo del pianeta potrebbero essere le condizioni per sopportare la vita, perché il bombardamento di raggi cosmici che pe penetrano in profondità potrebbero fornire l'energia necessaria a sostenerla. 
I'm not sure how good that was. Китай умеет устраивать себе праздники. Один такой начался на минувшей неделе и расстанется до первых чисел сентября. Дело в том, что 26 августа 40 лет назад на уга страны на месте Риболовецкой деревни началось создание города Шенчжен. So I'm not sure how perfect that sounds, but usually I'm too lazy and it's a bit too difficult to sound like that all the time. Uh, because you're thinking about the words, you're thinking about the grammar, you're thinking, oh, how do I say this? What was I, what, are you thinking about other things? And it's too difficult to think about pronunciation perfectly as well. So when speaking other languages, you don't need to be perfect. You just need to be a, a decent level, focus on the vowel sounds and just try to be understood. So that's all for this video. Uh, I hope it was interesting. Uh, let me know if you think, <laughs> Uh, let me know how close I was to a native speaker. I'm not sure, to be honest, because it's hard for me to judge. Uh, but thank you for watching.